Okay, so this is a brand new installation of Raspbian, uh, and the reason I've done this is because I've just had a comment on a YouTube video that I've uploaded. So if I scroll down, you'll see, so this one here, Tim Lumsden on another topic, possible fix for screen tearing. Uh, and basically he's written what you can do to get rid of YouTube screen tearing, which has been an issue for the Raspberry Pi all the way through. So let's copy that and pop it in a text document. So basically, uh, so the first line we put into terminal and then the second line is just sudo reboot. So let's copy that. And thanks very much for the tip. Uh, if I go back, uh, he did say, because I asked about uh, exactly what it was for, so three replies, here we go. Uh, thanks is this fixed for YouTube games, Ubuntu, Raspbian, uh, for Raspbian and affects YouTube and Netflix. Uh, and there's a blog here. I couldn't find the exact, this code in the blog, but obviously if someone else finds exactly where it was, uh, I just I just want to thank the person uh, or give a shout out to the person who actually did it. I mean, it may be this, the guy who's done the blog. Um, so uh, if that's the case, I'll put it in the description. It's an interesting blog actually, because it's all about also having really good support for video streaming services. So it's worth checking that out. I'll put a link in the description. So let's go to terminal. Well, let's close that down first, so it's a bit neater. Uh, go to terminal and paste. No, I don't want to paste it in. Okay, so before we do the fix, I want to play a bit of a video uh, to show what the tearing is and what the issue is. So let's hit play on this one and let's change it to 1080. And let's go full screen. And let's try and find a part of the video where he's doing the bite. I guess it's going to be near the end, isn't it? Here we go. So let's try this. 6 minutes 36. And you can see the tearing all the time is popping up. See when he moves his head, when the camera angle moves. Yeah, the tearing is, is definitely present there. I suppose I'll leave it playing for a bit. Showed it really well there at seven minutes. Now, because this thing's made of stainless steel, it's kind of like the DeLorean of bikes. <laughs> so that was perfect. Around about seven minutes, 20. Really showed it perfectly. So let's... Come out of that, let's close down the browser, and let's pop this code in. Okay, so first line, and then we're just doing sudo reboot. Always amazes me how lightning fast Raspbian reboots on an ordinary SD card. It really is a great operating system. Right, so let's go back into YouTube. Ah, here we are, high cycle. Right, 6 minutes 26 I played it at before, so let's just make sure we're in 1080, go full screen. I noticed when I tried it on the other one that it makes a difference if you're moving the mouse. So you'll notice I won't move the mouse when I've done it. What was it, 626 I think? Might have been 636. The tearing's definitely gone. It definitely is much smoother. Now we may have at the moment as well, because YouTube has been toggled back, um, the, the bitrate isn't going to be as high as it is normally. Yeah, that is great. That That's definitely much, much better. And I would say that that's fixed it. Amazing that one line can fix something that people have been struggling with for so long. Uh, let's just try uh, one year ago, something with a lot of movement in. Yeah, that's that's fine. Uh, so let's go back to my channel. So a couple of videos I can show. So one of them is the Stadia one. It wasn't the best start, was it? Oh. 
right, it's, uh, oh, you've got to get back in time. Oh, I really like the feel of it. Yeah, that's great. And let's just try one more. So it tears when you move the mouse. So if I stop moving the mouse now, let the graphics go off the screen. That's impressed me. Uh, one line has fixed YouTube and Raspbian, which has been a long time coming, um, but, uh, but finally it's fixed. So thanks to whoever has done it. Uh, as I say, it's probably the one from this blog, but I'll put a link in the description or I'll, I'll say who it is or if someone can say in the comments. But, uh, and also thanks for the heads up, Tim Lumsden. Please like and subscribe.